Evinrude E-Tech has been outperforming four-stroke engines for years. With more horsepower and torque, with cleaner running, quieter operation, and better fuel economy. Evinrude E-Tech requires no break-in period, no dealer scheduled maintenance for three years, and no oil changes ever. But what about four strokes, like the Mercury 150, that claim to deliver torque like a two-stroke? While it might be lighter than other four strokes, the Mercury 150 is still 37 pounds heavier than the world's lightest weight 150 outboard, the Evinrude E-Tech. Lighter means less draft, quicker to plane, and improved fuel economy. And even though both engines are rated at 150 horsepower, the Evinrude E-Tech not only delivers nearly 25 more horsepower at 3500 RPM, it also produces a lot more torque. And we're going to prove it with a good old-fashioned tug-of-war. In the tug-of-war comparison, what we're demonstrating is torque, and what that really is is power. How much power is going to be available for the customer when he uses his boat in normal conditions, like when he's pulling a skier out of the water, or planing the boat off with a lot of people in the boat, or a lot of cargo or gear. Those kinds of activities require torque. We did it before, competing against a Yamaha 154-stroke. The results were startling. But what will happen with the Mercury 150, a newer four-stroke that's 25 pounds lighter than the Yamaha? We'll start by putting all the fairness issues to rest. First, both boats, Sea Chaser Bay Runners, are identical in weight and configuration. Trim tabs are at exactly the same setting, neutral. Second, both engines are propped and rigged precisely to manufacturer specifications. An independent observer certifies compliance in all areas. I've been through every nook and cranny of both boats. I've opened up every hatch, every lid. I make sure the pitch and diameter, height of the motors, weights of the boats, fuel capacities is absolutely equal. The weight of both drivers have to be very similar. Both of these boats, the Evinrude and Mercury, are set up absolutely perfect. Can the Mercury 150, or any four-stroke for that matter, truly generate two-stroke torque? We're about to find out. These are professional drivers on a closed course with maximum safeguards. Do not attempt under any circumstances. The drivers are ready. Here we go. The count begins. Three, two, one, go. Both drivers simultaneously hit full throttle. But look at what's happening. The Mercury-powered boat takes on water as it's out-pulled by the Evinrude. Mercury may claim two-stroke torque, but here's the hard evidence. Evinrude E-Tech wins the tug of war, easily pulling the Mercury around the lake. That's because the Mercury, despite its claims, is still a four-stroke. And like all four-strokes, it can compete with the real two-stroke advantage of Evinrude E-Tech. Stop, 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 stop. A four-stroke only produces power every other revolution. But with the two-stroke Evinrude, every stroke is a power stroke. The result is an engine with an amazing amount of torque, and more torque makes for a quicker hole shot and better acceleration. We'll prove that in just a moment with a head-to-head -head drag race. But first, let's compare what it takes to maintain each engine. The Mercury might claim less maintenance, but it's still going to keep you off the water with regular oil changes, a lengthy checklist of inspections and adjustments, and a time-consuming storage process that's typically performed by a dealer. Not the Evinrude E-Tech, it never needs an oil change. There are no adjustments, no changing gear case lube, no tune-ups, and absolutely no dealer scheduled maintenance for a full three years or 300 hours. And you can winterize an Evinrude E-Tech by yourself in a matter of minutes, no trip to the dealer necessary. On the other hand, to store the mercury, the checklist is long and time-consuming and is best performed by a dealer. This pretty much ends your season. But with the Evinrude E-Tech, you don't have that worry because it takes almost nothing to rewinterize. So on those autumn days when the weather warms up again, while the mercury's sitting in storage, you're out having a great time on the water whenever the opportunity arises. Now, it's time for the drag race. It starts with two identical 19-foot Stratos bass boats. Each is outfitted with our competing engines, the Mercury 150 four-stroke and the 150 Evinrude E-Tech. 
an independent observer certifies that the boats and engines are propped and rigged to manufacturer specifications. Watch how the Evinrude powered boat leaps quickly and smoothly onto plane. The Evinrude E-Tech not only has superior torque, it reaches peak horsepower almost 2,000 RPM sooner than the Merck. It's not only 37 pounds lighter with a better power to weight ratio, it has fewer parts for less internal friction. And because it produces power with every stroke, Evinrude E-Tech's massive torque simply crushes the four-stroke competition, no matter what the claims. The finish line tells the story. A quicker hole shot, better acceleration, and more speed. Evinrude E-Tech is still the proven all-around winner. With more torque, towing skiers is easier. You're quicker to plane for better visibility and enjoy all-around better handling and performance. And yet, even with its superior horsepower and torque, the Evinrude E-Tech 150 not only meets, but exceeds the most stringent 2013 EPA and CARB regulations. The 150 horsepower Evinrude E-Tech direct injected engine is actually certified below US EPA and California Air Resources Board emission standards, making it the cleanest outboard engine in the 150 horsepower class. To assure that Evinrude E-Techs pass these rigorous standards with flying colors, BRP built a new state-of-the-art EPA test center in the Evinrude Sturdivant, Wisconsin facility. Here, the proof is in the numbers. In total combined levels of hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, and nitrous oxide, the Evinrude E-Tech beats the Mercury 150 four-stroke. In fact, Evinrude E-Tech is significantly cleaner than four-stroke outboards and was the first new two-stroke engine allowed on the world's most heavily regulated bodies of water. E-Tech technology revolutionized the two-stroke outboard and an entire industry. With Evinrude E-Tech, there's no smoke, no smell, no mixing oil. Just a clean, quiet running outboard that delivers amazing performance and better fuel efficiency. While the latest four-strokes might claim two-stroke-like performance, there's only one engine that truly delivers. The world-class Evinrude E-Tech. If you want a best-in-class outboard that provides faster access to your favorite fishing hole and a better overall boating experience, the peace of mind of proven reliability, there's only one choice to make, Evinrude E-Tech.